The outer boundary of the cell is delimited by the cell membrane, and in this particular model, the cell membrane is actually represented as a distinct structure. So you can see, for example, right over here, you can see that there is a distinct structure that is meant to represent the cell membrane in this model. So here you can see this would be representing the cell membrane, and you can find this on the surface of this model can divide the cell into the nucleus, which is right over here, and everything outside the nucleus, which includes all these structures, and this would be referred to as the cytoplasm. So first, let's take a look at the nucleus. The nucleus has a nuclear envelope surrounding it, which consists of two membranes. And in this model, the two membranes have a different color. You can see the outer membrane is right over here, and you can see it has a kind of a greenish color. And the inner membrane is shown over here. It is cut away right over here, so you can see some of the internal structures. And this internal membrane, also notice, has these openings which are meant to represent the nuclear pores. So here, the nuclear pores are represented as actual openings within the plastic. And there is some opening over here in the outer membranes, which you can also see that represents the nuclear pore. Again, the nuclear pore are large passageways for the passage of large molecular complexes. Inside the nucleus, you can see that there is this marble right over here that is simply meant to represent the nucleolus. The nucleolus is the location within the nucleus where ribosomal RNA is synthesized and the subunits of the ribosomes are put together. Also, if you look closely within the nucleus in this model, you'll see spring-like structures that are meant to represent the chromosomal material. The centrosome is here represented by this dark spherical structure, this entire spherical structure. And within the centrosome, you can, there are two centrioles. Again, the centrioles are cylindrical structures that would be oriented at right angles to one another, as you can see here. And these centrioles are composed of microtubules. And again, remember that function of the centrioles is to organize the microtubules, so this would also be called the microtubular organizing center.